So hello and good afternoon. This is Ruth Pozzuolo from Kurval.com and today's video is a bit weird, maybe. Um, this is what we're going to do. We're going to translate YouTube captions, you know, the subtitles, into another language using Power BI and Google Translate. Who wouldn't want to do that, right? <laughs> so. The, the reason for that, I'll tell you in a minute, uh, but I hope you enjoy the video as much as I did doing it. See you in a second. Okay, so let's see how we can uh, translate uh, YouTube, com uh, YouTube captions or subtitles using Power BI. Super cool. Okay, so this is how we started. Um, on the last video I did, the one on Monday, I got a message from Rafael Mendoza. He has his Twitter handle and he said, Oh, I love your videos and I would like to help you translate them into Portuguese. So it can help others. And uh, that is absolutely amazing. Thank you. Thank you, Rafael. So we were discussing how to do it and what different methods they are and I thought okay why not do a video in case there is somebody else out there that would like to translate it in their own language so there is a semi easy way to do this okay so um, the first thing we're going to do I just chosen a video this is one of the latest ones the data-driven decision making how can I achieve that and let's say we want to translate this the captions, you know, the subtitles that appear into Spanish. So to do that, you will go to the video that you want to translate and then you just click on the gear and then you go to subtitles and then you click on add subtitles. Okay, so once you have that you select the language you want to translate the video on. Let's say we want to do it in Spanish. I always get this error. I don't know why, but hopefully you don't. And uh, what you will see here is, I mean, YouTube does automatic captioning on the language that you speak. So I speak, I do my videos on English and there are uh, captions on English as I show you in the beginning. What I think is a pity is that they don't have, they don't give you the English caption. So you have to write everything from scratch, which is, a, a no, no, no. I mean, it takes way too long time. So I'm going to show you a trick on how you can do this. I was actually doing this on the first videos and then I just run, run out of time. Uh, let's go back to, okay, we do it again. Switch language. Let's go to English. Set language. So now we've got back to the uh, English language and this is the translation that YouTube makes by itself based on what I say. I try to pronounce the words as much as I can just to help you to be able to capture what I'm saying and do good um, captions. I can say that I've been better and better. So the auto translation is becoming better the more I pronounce, the more I do an effort to speak as clear as possible, which is very, very good. So once you are here on the English part, go to actions and download. What this is going to do is going to download a SBV. This is the format the YouTube uses for captioning. Okay. And what we're going to do is you don't need to open this file at all. What we're going to do is change the file format to text. And once you do that, you can open it in the notepad or notepad plus or whatever you use. And you will see everything that I said on that video with the timestamps, which is quite cool. What we're going to do now is we're going to get these and we're going to put it this file and put it in Power BI and use Google Translate API to translate the captions. Once we have translated the captions, we're going to convert it to the normal, you know, the YouTube format, and then we're going to upload it. So let's go and do that. I'm going to give you this file. So this Power BI file you will be able to download. So you can just you have everything ready. The only thing you need to have is a an API key 
at Google. So I have a few parameters. Uh, I have a parameter for the, um, let me show them. I have a parameter for the API. This is the API key. I have a parameter for the language, the original language. In this case, it's always going to be English. I have one video in Spanish, but no, nothing more. So most of the time it will be English. I have the tar target language parameter. This is the language you want to translate it to. And here you have a list of the codes for the languages that are supported by Google. So you can go here and check what uh, two letters you have to put in here to get the right language. In this case, we say we are going to translate it to Spanish. So this is where it should stay here, Spanish. And then I have a link to the file path, to, the, to this file, the file that we download. Okay, so you just put your file path and you're good to go. So those are the parameters that you need to set in the beginning. Once you've done that, there are two tables. The first table, it just goes and, you know, reads the contents of the text file. And then what I have done is just separate the timestamps and the text. I removed the other columns. I filtered the, um, I don't know, I don't need index here. Let me remove it right away. So I filtered the blanks. And then I invoke the Google Translate function. It's this little one here. You're going to get all of these and everything is set up to work with parameters. So you put your parameters on and this thing will work. The only error you can get is if you maxed out the Google Translate API and then it will start billing you. So you will have to add a billing account into your API. Okay. Um, so if he's starting, if he's asking you to authenticate and anonymous does not work, that's, that's what it means. It means you hit the limit and you need a billing account. Um, let's see where we were. We were here. Yeah, translate custom translated text. So yeah, we were here. So we invoked the uh, Google Analytics function and we expanded the translation. Okay, so what I have done on this little one is I've copied the same thing as in here. So I, I read the text, I filter the blanks, you know, I filter the text. Oh, now I remember why I have the I index. So sorry about that. Let's bring it back. I'll show you in a second why index. So there you have it. So there, so so here are the same steps that we have in captions. And the thing that I'm doing now is we're merging the query. So we're merging the, here, you see it. From the captions table, this is the one that we've got from Google, from YouTube. I'm merging it with translated. And what I've done is, you know, sometimes you have exactly the same line of text more than once. And, what happens is it will create additional lines to it and you don't want that. So I've added the index. So only where the index and the custom text match, you will add, you will merge the translated text, right? So this is the way it should be. So it only appears one and not multiple times. So once you've done that, you click OK, you add another index before expanding. And the reason for that is because otherwise it's going to get the nulls first and it will lose the order of the timestamps when I speak and you don't want that. So there is an added index in the next step. Let's see if it comes along. He's thinking, come on, come on. I don't know why my computer is so slow. Come on. Okay, let me pause. I come back when this is ready. Okay, so these things back to live. Here we have the translated text merged, but we added an index first. And now we can expand. So we can keep 
everything in order. If there is an index, Power Query will not try to sort this by itself. It would just leave the index as is, which is super cool. And I'm guessing it's going to take a little while, so I'll pause and then I come back. Okay, so back to live again. Here we have the translated text in respect to the index that we added, which is super cool. And now we're just going to add a custom column that says, if it's null, give me the timestamp, otherwise leave the text. We remove everything else. And the last step, we're going to use a small R script that will export whatever we've done here into a text file on our computer or my computer in this case okay so it looks like looks like this text you'll, you'll get all these so just here you have to put your path i cannot use parameters in our script yet so you have to change this to the path where you want Power Query to store the translated text file, okay? And make sure that you turn this upside down. So they are, I don't know, to the right, the, normally they are to the left when you're copied from Explorer. So you have to change, them. otherwise you get an error from R, okay? So when this has run, we'll have a new file. I'll be back when this has run. So here we have our new file. And one of the things that R does is it adds this index, which I think is quite annoying and definitely something that we don't need. So this is what I did. I just converted to uh, CSV, open it up. Data, text to columns, delimited with a comma and then I remove the index I don't want that and I don't want that either and I just saved it okay so how do you convert these into a subtitle file you cannot just change the um, uh, the file extension so I just found uh, a website that does this completely free so just upload the file, it's in there, and then you say, I wanted to change it to YouTube and convert, and it will download a file for you, this one. And the only thing you need to do is to upload this back in YouTube. Let's go and do that. So now we change the language back to what we wanted to translate, Spanish. and actions upload the file and we pick our spanish file upload i'm guessing that those are the accents don't get so something went a bit wrong. Such a shame. Oh, okay, so the next thing you do, credit my contribution. That means that you that translated this, your name will appear on the credits of the video. Make sure you check that, okay? because it's going to be very difficult for me to add that afterwards. So just make sure, I don't know if it's possible, so then I will have to add text. So make sure you click that, so it will credit you for the translation and then you just submit. Yes, ready to be reviewed. What is going to happen now is that YouTube is going to send me an email and it's going to tell me, okay, somebody in this case, Ruth, because I credit myself, uh, translated this please review and approve or ask for more changes or whatever it could be another thing that you can translate also is a title and description but yeah, I, I i often do these myself 
uh, at least in Spanish and Swedish. Um, the the subtitle is, is too much work, basically. So close. And that's it. That's all you need to know. So Power BI and YouTube together. Power, power. Okay, so you see that there's nothing that Power BI cannot do. Seriously, you can do absolutely anything and everything. It's just absolutely amazing. I'm sure that there are better ways, just perhaps you could capture the URL with the text and download it directly into Power BI. I haven't had the time to actually look into that, but I'm sure that is possible. But this is one way to, to do it anyhow, and I thought it was a good explanation of Power BI parameters, how to use uh, Google services or API services to actually call functions. You know, I don't show you how to create a function, but at least you can see a function in action. So it's quite a complete video. Um, so for those of you, if there is anybody else that is interested in helping me translate YouTube uh, captions, here's the thing. Uh, you might think that, oh, the, whew, that Power BI file is <laughs> it's a bit out of my comfort zone. I mean, the most uh, simple way to do it is just to, you get the, the t text file and just, uh, you know, translate it. You can just copy paste it in the Google Translate and probably will give you the same results. So there is an option, then you can just convert it and upload it back into YouTube. So uh, either way or whatever method you choose, uh, that would be absolutely fine for me. Make sure that you click on credits, you know, so you credit yourself for your, for your work. I don't think I can do it in After Han. I don't think you can do it After Han either. So remember to do it. Um, I could, of course, write the text in the description box, but, you know, it is much better. And I, and I guess it's a better credit if, you know, it's really stamped into the description box. So please make sure that you do that. So so you get really credited for the amazing job so with that said thank you very much thank you Raphael that is amazing I'm looking forward to see your translations and uh, I will see you again on Friday so another Dark Fridays I don't know what I'm going to do for video yet we'll see if you have any suggestions comment box okay bye